hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial where i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create an overlapping text effect with canva or you can equally call it an overlapping letter effect okay so if this particular um, effect would be helpful for those that wants to create logos and make it look unique all right so without wasting much time let's jump right into it so you see what i'm talking about and oh i forgot to introduce myself my name is kalechi okori and i am a canva expert so let's go now the first thing i want to do is i'll go over to create and create a new design and i'm going to select a custom size i'm going to be using the 1080 by 1080 that's the instagram squared post um, template so click on create a new design now this is our blank page this is our canvas okay i'm gonna click i'm gonna change the color that's the first thing i want to do change the color and then the text we're going to be using for this experiment or this effect is dog that's dog now select my text start with letter d capital letter and then i'm going to i want to use montserrat semi bold for this increase the size let's say to four this is it d change the color to white now we have a letter d d o g d for dog now i'm going to duplicate this and change this to letter o duplicate again change it to letter g the reason why i did this is so all the letters would have the same size 483 so the same size now the next thing i would do is i'll go back to share and click on download and i'm going to download every single one of them as a transparent background so click on download our download is processing and we're done so we're done now I'll go over to where i because i downloaded all of them at once i would have to unzip it so this is it extract all extracts and this is successful so i'm going to close this and then i'm going to upload this back into canva close this so while we're waiting for dog to finish downloading sorry to finish uploading okay now i'm going to create a new page another page i'm gonna try this again okay so I'm going to add a new page. So ODG. <laughs> now, I'm going to select this first one, letter D, duplicate this, duplicate it, and then I'm going to drag letter O here, then I'm going to drag letter G. And I want all of them to be um, the same size. Not yet not yet so I'm going to I'm just going to increase this a bit just a bit and we're gonna start now I just successfully changed this from a text to an image D O G successfully changed to an image now I'm going to start applying my effect the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to start with letter D go back to edit image and then click on shadows I'm going to select glow and then I'm click on glow again reduce the blur increase the transparency and increase the size to 10 I'm going to change this color to this okay the same color as the background it doesn't have to um, necessarily be that way but um, this is best I'm going to click on apply let me check if it's the blur transparency and the size okay they're all great and then we'll move over to the next one which is let's uh, o 
But first, let me bring this all the way to the front. Yep. Now move over to letter O. Do the same thing. Go to Edit Image, Shadows, Glow. Glow again. Increase, reduce the blur. Change the color to this color. Increase transparency. And then increase the size to a 10. And then I'll click on Apply. So we're, we're done with O. Click on G. Glow. Glow again. Reduce the blur to zero. Increase transparency to 100. Increase size to 10. And change this color to the same as the same color with the background. And we have D O G successfully um, done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase this a bit and then increase move this to somewhere here and move this to somewhere here. Okay. So we have something like this. We have D O G. So watch the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, place it on the same. Then move one all the way to the back. And then crop out this part. So I've gotten D. We're going to do the same thing for G. Duplicate. Bring it here. And bring this up here. So I'm going to fit this. And as you can see, this is successfully um, arranged. Now, we are not done. Why did I say we are not done? So, so, it's the effect. It looks good this way. But if you change the color, so let's say um, pink. If you notice the background color, the colors we used for the shadow colors we used, they are still showing. And we don't want that. Okay, it's going to look really messy. Now... We're going to download this page for, but not as a transparent background. We're going to download it just as page four. Download. And we're waiting for it to download page four. We've gotten our DOG successfully overlapped, and we just need to apply some touches for it to be perfect successfully downloaded so i'll go over to my downloads okay this is it and i'm going to upload this back into canva and create add a new page then bring this one i'm going to change the color so i'll show you what i'm trying what i'm talking about go to edit image and remove the background let's see how it's going to turn out the OG it's loading it's loading but so if you can see those um, parts are off we successfully made this perfect so you can increase and decrease this and just use it uh, maybe if you want to create a logo or just something or you want to use it for a t-shirt t-shirt design this would really help so we have this successfully remember first of all you would have to select your text okay i'm just recapping so in case you did not get it or uh, maybe you got lost along the way first you have to select your text then download it as a transparent um image if you, you know um if you cannot if you cannot remove the background on canva you can always do that remove.bg so download um, as an image upload it back into canva apply the shadows and make sure the colors are the same with the background color then download the when you're done overlapping the text you can download it with the background then remove the remove the image remove the background image remove the remove the bg if you don't have a pro account but if you have a pro account you can always remove the background the same way i did and that's just all about this effect so if you're here to subscribe to my youtube channel please do that and if you found any of the tip helpful you can leave a comment or like this video tutorial 
I'll see you next time. I love you guys.